it just makes you wonder what has been done in the name of this preposterous lunacy. It makes you weep. It makes me weep. This is, I take this very seriously. And I think very deeply about the crimes that have been done in the name of this palaver and this nonsense, you see. So I'm, I'm looking at that. I think if, if, if these revelations from Ralph or anybody else can insist in any way to the healing of what has been done, because we, we carry within our race memory, you see, the scars of every human being that's lived on this planet and everything they've had to endure. It's right in you. It's just that we have a you know, circuitry that blocks that. It's called the ego, and we should thank the ego for that ability because we'd be drowned in sorrow if we had to face what has gone on. And I hope that Leo's talk has, you know, for p people who may be new to this, and if you get his book and you'll see what the horrors that have been done in this, never forget that. Because we are the harbingers. We are the, we are the descendants of those people who cried in the mines and the factories and the fields. Why, why, why? Each individual here carries that weight because your ancestors died miserable deaths, children in the mines not far away from here, right? On the fields of war, for instance. And in their psyche, they asked, why, why, why? And you are to provide the answer. So even if there's not a humanitarian shred in anybody sitting here, and I hope there is, but just imagine for a moment that you have no hum real concern about other human beings. Have at least concern then for your own lineage, your own heredity, your own past, and the forefathers, the uncles, and the ancestors, and the grandparents who died hideous deaths for nothing in wars to keep these tyrants in their place. And the answers that you discover in this life, you're answering their call. So never forget that.